Good morning from Singapore. Oh my gosh. I'm staying at my sister's apartment because she lives here. And oh my god, I can't believe it. This is my first time actually staying in Singapore. I've only ever stopped over at the airport. And it's also my first time in Asia, which is so cool. And I'm so excited. And so yeah, welcome to the Singapore vlog. And so I'm going to go shopping today. I'm going to head to Orchard Road is like the main shops, I think. And have a look around. So let's go explore. It's also my first time solo traveling in a different country. Like even though I'm with my sister and everything, like she's not coming with me today because she's at work. And I flew here on my own, so. It's kind of crazy. I feel like grown up. I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, let's go shopping. My favorite thing ever. Starbucks across the road and have a look and I just realized that you probably can't see me I've been filming my chin okay so I've worked out where I need to go I connected to the Starbucks Wi-Fi so wherever I was before was right but I've turned the wrong way I've got to head this way but I don't know how to get across the road there's no crossing There's like an underground thing. Cool. I'll show you where I'm headed. So this is Orchard Road. It's like shopping. That's where I came out. No, that's where I was before. And I've got to head down. There, where that green bus is going. And I ended up here and I went that way so this way <gasps> oh my god and it's so long so we'll see how far down I get
this okay this is this is where I want it to end up Gucci Prada oh my god okay slay I made it oh my god this is literally huge probably would have bought it but I didn't come here with buying a new bag in my mind um, I get tax back but I might look up whether it's cheaper here or at home but I really don't need it so I probably won't end up buying it it was really cute though she was so like you should buy it and then I like tried on both of them took two different ones and she, I was like I like both and then she was like you should just get both and I was like don't do this to me because I actually would buy both even though I don't want both but I'm just I'm that type of person that like if a shop person is trying to sell you something I would be sold it's like this when I was like walking around the shop carrying it and she was like do you want me to put that at the counter for you? And I was like, okay. And then I was like, well now I have to buy it. I don't regret that though. I wanted to buy those, but yeah. Maybe I will buy it. Okay, another Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Oh, I didn't actually see Chanel in the other place. Um, so that's cool. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Hopefully I'll find another shopping center soon. Apparently they're everywhere. Um, Cause I really need to get some lunch. Next stop. And they have a lunch shop. Hopefully they have food. Oh, Gucci. Australian origins or something. What is this? Chai from Germany. Oh my god, yum. These apples are huge. Look, this is my hand. That is the biggest apple I've ever seen. Oh my god. Look at all the drapes and like the mini coconut water. Apple juice in a glass bottle. 
Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? I feel like I should get one of these little dippy things. But I don't know what flavor I want. Oh, this one's late. Wow, it's like tiramisu. Mixed berries and cheese? I think I'm gonna be boring. Go for the vanilla or strawberry. Mm, vanilla, something different. sushi from the supermarket <laughs> um i don't really feel like anything else so yeah i'm sitting on like a puff bench in the street i'm gonna eat it and then i'll keep going okay i was gonna keep moving but i've just seen that there's a muji so i'm gonna try and find it so i'm gonna head back in but I'm pretty sure there's Muji's everywhere, so I might head in, connect to the Wi-Fi, and then just look up if there's a Muji down further so I can keep going, but I totally forgot that I wanted to go to Muji. Look at this pink rice cooker. And then this. Is that a blender? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Is it pretty? like an overview of the shopping center. I don't want to look over the balcony and draw my camera. Is the stationery? I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh! The last time I was in Muji in Australia, they didn't have candles. So this is really cool. So I didn't end up getting anything from Muji because they had pretty much the same stuff as at home um, and I really need anything and it's more expensive too so <gasps> Okay back to what I was talking about um, Yeah I didn't get anything from Muji so I'm heading down Orchard Road once again um, I I want to find the Apple store I think the Apple store is like down here somewhere I don't know I guess we'll just see what shopping center I stumble upon next they're literally pretty much all the same oh found it right here okay it was kind of standard Apple stores I feel like are the same in every country but I just like playing with all the different products um, ooh, Nike. Okay, I'm gonna look at Nike. Also, I'll talk about like prices and everything later because it's not the best. It's not bad. Ooh, Victoria's Secret. That's a big Victoria's Secret. Okay. This is a huge Nike store. Oh my god. I don't know what this shop is, but. I think it's like another like made in Singapore type shop. This 
this jacket. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I'm actually obsessed. Okay, so I didn't buy anything. I mean, I could have bought so many things in there. It was so nice, but I was like, oh, I don't really need anything. Um, but the lady, when I left, was doing like a survey. Now I have a $10 voucher, and I'm like, oh, I could go back and buy something. <laughs> that was like cheap, because I have a $10 voucher. Um, I don't know, or I'll just, Give it to my sister and then she can use it. It's valid for two years. Oh no, one year. Valid for one year, um, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I think I'm coming up to another big shopping center, kind of like Westfield or something. I mean, they're all like that. I see like a bridge going from one side to the other. So I want to go on the bridge. So I'm going to find out how to get in here so I can do that. That's the bridge up there. Orchard Gateway, so. Need to find out how to get there. Okay, I think that's where I need to go. I was gonna go in there, but that just goes into Foot Locker. I wonder if, I, if it goes through, and then I can go up along the bridge. It's so cool the tube. Wow. Can I even see? It's kind of weird. That's Orchard Road. Wow. Busy. Just stumbled upon this pottery studio. people like right in front of it like doing like a pottery class or something and I was like but we're taking photo right where are you watching me okay I'm just walking down this street I don't think there's anything here so I'll probably turn around but it looks nice I reckon this is the last of the shopping centers. This is Plaza Singa Singapore. I don't know how to say that. Um, but they have a spotlight, which is so random. But I'm gonna head for Muji. <gasps> MRT! That's what I need. That's the train. Okay, cool. Open 24 hours. Wow. It's like Chadston. This is amazing. Oh my god, and the train station is right there. Okay, this is incredible. Um, I don't know where to go in, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh my god, the Muji has a cafe. The Muji has a cafe. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Hello there. Looks like gummy bear people. Oh my god. It's a telly toby. That's amazing. This is giving like, so we've got like Levi, Sketches, Crocs, Villa, but non body. That's a slate. Um, oh, another jewelry shop. 
Oh wow. Hello. I love the lights, it's so pretty. This is the Muji. Oh my god, they have trolleys. That's amazing. Apparently there's a cafe. So now I have to find the cafe, but I like these. I do not need another drink bottle, oh my god. I found the cafe. This is amazing. Oh my god. Why doesn't the Melbourne one have a community market? I wonder what I could do. Oh. oh, it's like food. Oh my god, it's like a grocery store. That is so cool. Ceramic workshop. Okay, this is literally the best Muji that I have ever been to. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I want this. And this. And the fork. What I actually want is this teapot. I think it would just be way too hard to get home. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, the glass Like, we do not have this in ours. Oh my god. Actually, this feels like plastic. Oh no, apparently it's glass. Lol. Oh, that's so pretty. That is such a pretty teapot. Oh my goodness. And like the little, the glass bowls. And they're so cheap. Like, look at that. Like this one. That's $4. <laughs> okay, this is what I want. Look at that. That is the most, like, that is such a nice pedal. I think it's plastic, but like it's so cute. And, this one. and I literally just said I don't need another drink bottle. I'm not gonna buy it, but she's pretty. With my life. My. Oh my god, they're literally obsessed with my life. This is amazing. Why do we not have this in Australia? Just, it, like, I literally just came out of the train station and it's raining and I don't have an umbrella so this is gonna be a fun walk home welcome to my shopping day haul so I didn't actually buy that much so I'm pretty proud of myself because I can go crazy and buy a lot but 
Is that the first thing I bought? Yeah. So the first thing I bought was my crop gibbet, which is, I know it's so random, and I normally, when I go to a different country, try not to shop at places that we have at home. Um, but I, I had to get this because, like I said, I got a new pair of Crocs and they just arrived at home, so I won't get them until I go home. But um, I was like, oh, I should get a, a new gibbet to commemorate getting a new pair of Crocs. So I got this one, and the reason I got this one is because it's like Taylor Swift themed, like the disco ball and the cowgirl hat. It's giving Taylor Swift. So I was like, perfect, because I just went to Taylor Swift like three days ago. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And then at this other shop, which was called Therapy Market, majority like handmade items. It was really cool. I don't think these are handmade, but it was cute. Anyways, um, I got these earrings. They're so cute. So they're little bows and they're white. And I think the metal is rose gold. And then I got this little purse that I kind of showed. So I'm pretty sure this is handmade in um, Singapore. Yes, designed and handmade by Pisces Passion Singapore. If I was a Pisces, that would be perfect, but I'm not. But anyways, it is Pisces season. So it's called a Batik Pyramid Purse. If it wants to focus. I thought that was pretty cool. They had lots of different things you could get, but I thought the little purse was cute. Um, so it looks like this. So it's like a little pyramid thing and you got this little hand thing and then the zip I was just gonna put like lip balm airpods like little things that I have in my bag every day that's just everywhere and then I could organize it in this and I just I love buying like local things when I go somewhere and because it's like my first time in Asia I see people and they go to like Thailand and Indonesia and they get like handmade local things so I was like local Singaporean little purse thing and I saw another one at this other shop that I went to that was also small business vibes it was a lot bigger it was called design orchard and she gave me a voucher because I did like a survey um I didn't buy anything from there because I bought those two other things from the other like small business place and everything was kind of the same and I was like I don't need another little purse even though I love little purses um, but it was really, really nice. So I definitely recommend that if you go to Singapore. Um, but they had the most amazing jacket. It was a bomb jacket. I reckon it was made out of like silk or satin or something. It was beautiful. But it was like $500. And I'm trying not to spend too much money. Um, if I wasn't in a saving blitz that I am, I so would have bought it because it was like... The most beautiful thing ever but i'm trying to say anyways that's like items that i bought i can't believe i only bought three things that's amazing but food wise i bought this milo drink that i'm gonna put in the fridge and drink it maybe tomorrow um because they're obsessed with milo here which is crazy and then these which i might eat now i I've had these in Australia and they're so good, but I've never had vanilla, so cool. And then I bought some green tea, it's just green tea bags, but I wanted to try matcha here, but they only had the powder matcha and I don't have like the matcha kit, but like the whisk and all that, so this is the second best thing, which is green tea with matcha in a tea bag. And then last, I got these little Milo chocolates because... Once again, Milo, and we don't have these at home, so I have to get them. So yeah, that's my little haul. And also, it is still raining. Um, it started absolutely bucketing down while I was still walking home. But I was under, like, cover. The footpath is under cover. It was amazing. And then, as soon as I came out of undercover, it kind of was just, like, spinning. So I didn't get drenched, which is nice. But it's still raining. It's so random because it was like so hot and sunny. And I went in the shopping center and the train station is like all undercover. Probably like an hour all up. And then come out of the train station and it's like grey and pouring rain. I was like, whoa. 
But yeah, so we'll see what we get up to tonight. So we're gonna go out, but the rain should stop. So we probably will go to like our little food market or something, I think. And um, I'll show you that later. Slippery. That's true. chicken rice dinner so I'll update you with what I think it's really zoomed in mm. I only had a little bit but that was nice it's really gingery and I didn't put the ginger thing on it I just put the soy sauce mmm <laughs> you're good yeah. I'm like, you wow. It's good. So I'm going to the gallery today. And I just got off the train and accidentally ended up in a shopping center, so that was fun. Um, but okay, I'm heading the right way now. I think. I hope. Something that's really cool about Singapore is they're like crossing people last for ages. Like, I feel like at home, our lights are super quick.
you see the same process before and after. Then some of these paintings are submitted. Some of this may cost 30 to grasp in one day. This is outside the gallery. There's cricket and Okay, the gallery was really good. I, I don't know if I saw everything. It was really confusing to get around um, and find everything, but I saw quite a bit, so happy with that. Um, and I'm going to go back to that shopping center that I accidentally ended up in this morning and have some lunch. Then I'll head back um, to meet my sister because I think we're going to Chinatown tonight. So that'll be fun but it's looking a little grey so I feel like the rain could be coming back
You gotta try it. This is my favorite one. Okay. This is sugar cane juice. With lemon. With lemon. Oh wow. That's good. It's so good. I don't know what it tastes like. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It doesn't taste like anything. It's so good. That's really weird. It's good. It's like, it's like kind of creamy. Yeah. That's so random. So How do you pronounce it? Bucky and me. Bucky and me. Prawn noodles. Prawn noodles. This? Whoa, what's that? It's a little line. Oh. Try and make sure my stuff's too It's like a barbecue smoky flavor with like seafood. I already said that. Look, I like it. I'm trying to try new things. I am a foster you know. There was like a western restaurant that was, I walked past. It had like burgers and like fish and chips. I was drawn to it. I was like, no. I have to try something new and of cultural significance to the place that I'm in. And I've done that. I'm grateful. I don't know if this is like Singapore dish, but it's. Not a western dish, but it's better than nothing. It's good though, I really like it. White version. Black ones are the best. Okay, this is black carrot cake. It's not actually carrot cake, but that's what it's called. Is there even carrots in it? Well, in Chinese, the white radish is carrot. Oh, wow. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's radish. Um, fried, fried radish, but apparently it's really good. First grab a piece? Yep. This one? Yep. Oh wow, that is good. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of tastes like a potato. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, that's good, yeah. So random. Cute. Um, and this side has a bunny on it. So, 
Oh, here's your present. Oh, thanks. I've got Isabelle's present. A late Christmas present. Christmas present. Late Christmas present. There you go. Thanks. Um, and then I bought this for my parents. It's like a little tray. It has little India on it because when they came here, they liked little India. So I thought that was cute. And then I bought myself a magnet because I get magnets where I travel. So I thought this one was cute. I don't know if there's anything significant about this house, but it was pretty. Um, and then I got a necklace. And it's like it's gold. Little breakfast, yes. And it's amethyst, which is my best stone. So I thought that was cute. So yeah, that's my little haul. And it was a shop called Huga. Oh. Huga. Which is so random because that's like Swedish and Norwegian. But yeah, it was a really nice shop. I could have bought like everything. That's my haul. Hi. Oh, hey, pretty boy. Sleepy. We're at the Botanic Gardens. Wow. Yeah, it's like feels like a jungle. Yeah. They're this scary, but I want to see them. Yeah, they're cool. Swan on swan leg. Wow. This tree was planted in 1937. How crazy is that? Oh my goodness. It's called a snake tree. Hi boys. <laughs> oh, big boy. There we go. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, the tree's in the way. 
It's so hot. Like it is so. I feel like I'm in an oven. I'm in an oven, but it is nice, isn't it? Wow. This is the gardens by the bay, which I feel like Singapore is like really famous for. So here we are. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is giving Disneyland. <laughs> you could honestly come to Singapore and feel like you're in Disneyland at some point. Can't wait to stay there one day. Head oh, house, I, I reckon. And then they get it. This is a nice view. My favorite thing about being in a touristy place is not feeling out of place while taking a selfie. Oh, why is it fixing in the corner? Made it to the famous tree things. They probably have a better name other than tree things, but that's what they are to me. Going to Shake Shack for lunch. I think it's my first time having Shake Shack, so I'm very excited. This is my shake from Shake Shack. I just got vanilla because it's my favorite. Oh, fresh. It's just like the good old cheeseburger. And we got fries with, is this cheese? Cheese sauce, yeah. Cheese sauce that you pour on top. You want to try the cheese sauce first before I pour it on top? Okay. If you don't like it, you can give it. You can pour it on top. Yeah. It tastes very American. Yeah. Wow. Cheese sauce on the chip. And ketchup. Okay. Yeah, for the burger. It's kind of smaller than I thought. Yeah. Tastes like a good old cheeseburger. Going into the flower dome. This is so cool. Yeah, oh my god. 
gosh. <coughs> oh! Photo brush. Slay. It's air conditioned, but it's actually freezing. <laughs> like, genuinely. I mean, a freezer. I went from an oven to a freezer. This is South Africa. I keep running into people. Oh, that's cool. This is our next stop. The fish are my favorite. Oh my god! Hello, Lama! Oh, 
ู้รักธรรมชาติคนยงเหงาเขาปักหน้ากันออกมาอย่างนั้นDay, and I'm flying out tonight, but still got like most of the day. So this afternoon we're gonna head early to the airport so we can go to like the waterfall place and do some shopping at the airport before I fly out. Um, but this morning I'm just heading to Daiso, which is one of my favorite shops. But there's a really big one near here, so I'm like <gasps> gotta go have a look. And also, I stepped on my claw clip the other night, my favorite one. And so, I'm gonna see if I can find another one. It's my favorite claw clip. And I stepped on it, <clears throat> it's broken. So, if I can find, I would love like a cute pink one. Let's see.
Okay, Daiso haul. They had two claw clips and I didn't like them, so that sucks. But I did get a piglet pen. <laughs> I have the same one in Minnie Mouse and I actually, it's actually a really good pen. I really like it. So I got a piglet version. This card mirror, I thought that was so cool. They had like different artworks, but I like this one. Um, so it's like a card. That's a mirror? It's a mirror. <laughs> but a card. I thought that was cool. Like, like keep it in my wallet and if I need a mirror, just like whip that out. Um, and then I got this like shopping bag. Like folds up because I thought it was cute. So yeah. I could have bought so much, but I was like, no. And getting it home is just like, like I wanted to buy like mugs and stuff, but I was like, no, I have that many mugs. But yeah, success, sort of, not really, because I didn't get my claw clip, but I will have a look at the shops at the airport. Big buckets that like fall on you oh, at the water park. This is our lunch for today. 